Oh my god. Whoever proposed this, you are evil! Okay? Because this, this is god awful. <laughs> Not even Wolfram Alpha can find a simple mathematical function for this. So, let me first show you the inhumane way of solving this. Okay? So, so let's, let's pretend that I'm some MIT contestant who solved this. All you would do is you're going to split this in 1 plus 1 minus x squared. And what's going to happen is you're going to split the terms like this. Where we have 1, and then plus, and then we have like 1 minus x squared, which is going to go like this, and 1 minus x here. Okay, and then for some reason this gives them, this leads them to an answer of reverse product rule. I actually don't remember. I don't think it was just this. It was either, I don't remember. It was, it was some, yeah, I don't, I don't remember. I, I completely forgot how to do the inhumane method. But pretty much it's the, the, it, the idea is that it's just reversed product rule or reverse quotient rule and my god I just I just don't I just don't believe anyone could actually see that I just don't believe anyone could see that but let me show you what I did okay and it was nasty it was so nasty oh my god <laughs> okay so here's what I did my my young self let x equal sine theta so I let x equals uh, so I let x equals sine theta, and I ended up with like this. Whoops, let me see. I got one plus cosine square. That's what I did. All right, and this cancels out with one minus x square. So I got one minus sine theta here. So I was left off with this, and I was just like, what on earth do I do? How on what what do I do? What what do I what, what how do I even continue with this? I even conjugated that. I was like, okay, let me just conjugate that. But this e to the sine theta was just annoying the hell out of me. So, but I, I continued. I continued, and I got like one plus cosine squared over cosine squared now because I conjugated. So now I got this. Okay. And now what I have is now it's just e to the sine theta. And I was I was kind of I was slowly freaking out. I was just freaking out just a little bit. I was just kind of freaking out just a little bit. I was freaking out just a little bit because I'm just like, okay, huh. What do I do? <laughs> so and I realized, okay, well we have secant square plus Let's see, we got secant, this is secant theta, tangent theta, okay, and then we got plus one and plus sine theta. All this with this, and I'm just like, huh, what to do? <laughs> so, I, I, didn't, I didn't know what to do. So what I did is like, okay, I'm just going to ignore this part and focus on this. So I was like, okay, integration, semi-integration by parts, pretty much. So I was like, okay, e sine theta, and then we have secant square plus tangent theta, secant theta. Okay. And I was like, all right, so then this is s times c. This is going to be tangent plus secant, right? And I was like, oh, oh, and I realized, oh, this is going to cancel out with this. And I was like, oh, okay. So then what I have is I end up with an answer of E sine theta of tangent theta plus secant theta. And this is my answer. And then I had to, of course, I had to change it back where X was equal 
sine theta because I let x go sine theta I have to turn it back into inverse secant I mean inverse sine so now I have e to the x this is sine sine theta over cosine theta plus and then this is uh, 1 over cosine oh, okay so my answer was this yeah there you go so this was the answer and I'm just like bruh <laughs> like what the hell who would it was, it was literally a product rule or an insane like who who would know <laughs> okay no one would mentally derive this and be like oh it's I know this derivative it's so familiar oh yeah this is e to the x this no okay no, no one would never thought of this. Who the hell would come up with no? <laughs> Dear God. But yeah, this was this this is how I solved it. Okay, when I got here, I was legit tear. Oh, oh my God. My pants was drenched when I saw this, and I was like, okay, wait a minute. Let me just calm down, express this, and I realized, okay, these two is what this. This here is what made me suspicious. Why is it secant squared? Why is it secant theta tan theta? And so that's where I thought, oh, let me try semi-integration by parts. And I did, and surprisingly, thankfully, this and this cancels out. And so my answer was just this and that. And that's how I got this answer. Okay? So that's my way. This is the most human, this is the most humane way to, to solve this integral. Okay? I don't know about you, seeing someone using reverse product rule and just answering this in less than two minutes, um, no, I don't think there's no way. There's just, there's just no way. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.